Good morning everyone. I hope you are enjoying our virtual Devon Together event today. Now, I am going to take you through our next activity, which is a craft. And what we're going to do is we are looking to make a sustainable way for you to play noughts and crosses or tic-tac-toe or whatever you might call that. So usually we probably get some paper and draw out a grid and play our noughts and crosses. But we thought we'd try and make a little game that you can use over and over again. Now, you may have some different things to do that on today. You may have a, a little bag like this, which we can draw the grid on and you'll be able to store your tokens after. Uh, some tokens or some pebbles. You might have some pebbles. I've got some discs like this, some little wooden discs, um, which I'm going to use today. But you can use pebbles or tokens or uh, little glass uh, pebbles if you've got those around. Anything you like. Uh, and if you haven't got a bag like this, perhaps you could think of a nut, something else that you could uh, use that will be reusable again and again rather than a piece of paper. So it might be a piece of card. You might be able to laminate something that you can use again and again. Have a little think about what you might have at home that you will be able to do. OK, so I'm going to make a start with my bag. OK, now I'm hoping my pens won't go through there, but just in case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of card inside the bag that means that when I draw my grid on there in a few moments it's not going to bleed through to the other side so we don't want to ruin that what we can do on the other side is do our own fancy design you could write your name and noughts and crosses or tic-tac-toe or whatever you're going to call your game so on this side here we need to draw a nice big grid which will be the basis for our noughts and crosses I'm going to use a blue pen to do this so I need to make sure that the grid is big enough for my my counters to go inside so you might want to use a ruler for this as well so i'm going to do two lines going down the bag like that see my two lines going down and then i'm going to need two lines going across the other way to form a grid which will give nine squares okay so there is my my grid for us to play tic-tac-toe okay so that's our first our first job then we'll need our counters that we can play the game so you'll need 10 of these all together 10 pebbles or tokens or whatever you might have at home and we'll need five of them to be one design and five of them to be a different design so that you can have a team and be able to play with your with your friends or your mums or dads whoever you have got at home so i have done some very basic designs which i'm sure you will be able to do better so i've got a little rainbow icon so we're going to have a rainbow team and i've done a little guide icon there a g for guides with a red star on it you could draw uh the the trefoil you could draw your patrol or your six at rainbows brownies or guides you could do the the ranger uh logo uh in the ranger colors or anything you like but two different designs so that then you can play your tic-tac-toe or noughts and crosses game at home when you've done all 10 of those you can take out the cardboard there and this is our tic-tac-toe game that we can play on the move and store your tokens so we can put those in and then if you're going out it's a nice little little bag with a game in that you can do uh take along with you and remember when we did the grid you can also decorate the other side so i'd love to see some of your designs at home what you chose to draw on your tokens or your pebbles uh, and any designs you've done on your bags uh, pop your photos in the in the comments below and we'd love to see them and i hope you enjoy the rest of your day have fun bye